welcome Toastmasters, yes, and everyone else who's not here. <laughs> well, we have a small group today, but that's good because a lot of times when you have bigger groups, it's hard to interact with people directly. So it kind of gives you a better feel for what's going on and it gives me an opportunity to be more personal with everybody in the room, which is fantastic. So, my speech today is actually the start of a six-week series titled The Great Pyramid of Personal Growth. Now, I believe that personal growth and personal leadership go one, go one and the same. They're one and the same. They go hand in hand. You know, the better person you become, the better leader you're going to become, but not only for yourself, but for other people. But in order to lead other people, you need to lead yourself first, which makes sense. So, when you think of the word leader, what comes to mind? Is it strength? Is it the person who's leading the pack? Is it, you know, discipline? Is it the person on stage speaking to that huge audience and captivating their audience? Is it someone holding you accountable for your actions? All these are great, and they're all byproducts of what I believe is empathy. You know, understanding what people are going through. You know, you ever hear the expression, you know, <clears throat> you know, don't judge me until you've walked a mile in my shoes. I think once you understand people, and you start to understand what they're going through, their actions are a lot more understandable to us. So, my thing is that being a true leader of people is not something most people strive to do. Most people want to fit in. Most people want to just follow the pack. You know, and that's fine. You know, you need every type of person in this world, we need that type of person. We need that person, you know, you know we need the people who are, you know, the salespeople. We need the people who work in the department stores. You need everybody. Not everybody wants to be a leader. But you don't have to lead other people to be a leader of yourself. You know, you be the leader of your family. Be the leader of, you know, your colleagues, your friends. And it doesn't mean you, 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 you stand over them and you're the best. It means that you're just, you're, you're, you're showing them the way. Because you've done it before and you feel confident with that. So now, that's a reason why, you know, on airplanes, when you get on an airplane, they're giving you the directions and, and the, the flight attendants are standing there and they're saying, you know, my wife doesn't agree with me on this. And I, I <laughs> this is, yeah, this little, little argument going back and forth. But if the cabin pressure drops and the mask comes down, the oxygen mask comes down, what do they say to you? You put on your mask first before you attempt to help anybody else. Why? Because if you can't help yourself, you can't help anybody else. My wife doesn't agree with me. She goes, you better put my, your son's mask on. You better put my mask on first. But it's, it's a joke, but it's true. If you can't help yourself, you can't help anybody else. So the reason why I've coined this statement and this program, I should say, is the Great Pyramid of Personal Growth is because think about a pyramid, all right? Pyramids have stood the test of time. Some of the, the, the greatest structures ever created in Egypt, which is right here, which I actually had the pleasure of, of visiting, which was amazing. The pyramids have stand the test of time. They're pyramids that date back over 360, 3060, 50 BC. And these pyramids have stood the test of time. I touched them, I walked on them, mind blowing. But the pyramid is one of the biggest structures that you can possibly imagine because of the way they're designed. You know, you have a base, all right? And you have four sides. You know, well, actually, until I started really getting into understanding pyramids, I thought there were three sides. You hear pyramid, right? You think three sides, right? And then I'm researching, research. I'm like, wait a minute, there's four sides. You know, and what I've noticed through research is that a lot of times they say it was, when it was built, it was because there were four directions in the world, north, south, east, and west. And for every side of the pyramid has a direction of where they can come from. If that makes a little bit of sense, like lighting or whatever it is. So I didn't understand there were four sides. So I was like, wow, this is pretty mind-blowing. So once I started developing this program, I also understood there's one, part, one portion that starts that you have to start with, and that's the base. Okay, that's, that's the flooring, the base, whatever you want to call it, but that has to be the starting point because you can't build anything unless you have a base, you have a foundation. Now, you guys know about the book that I wrote, right? And in the book, I, I go through the building of a house using the backdrop of building a house. But with the book, I started the construction phase as far as building that foundation, you know, actually pouring the cement, so to speak. This, to me, is kind of the prequel. It's kind of the blueprint. Because in the book, I say, you know, it's all about, you know, I'm assuming all the planning and everything is done up to this point. And what I've come to realize is that this is kind of the prequel to the book. Because this is the blueprint that we're looking for. Welcome. <laughs> and the blueprint is what gets everything in motion. So the bottom or the floor or the base, whatever you want to title it, of your personal growth pyramid is awareness. Now, was anyone here just now when I told you about the pyramids? We all thought that there were three sides to a pyramid, right? Now there's four. We know that there's four. 
And there's some pyramids that have three, but for the most part, all the big, strong structures have four sides, right? So, a best way to understand awareness, okay, is this. You ever hear the expression, if a tree falls in the woods and no one's around to hear it, does it make a noise? We don't know, right? If you're there, it'll make a noise. Why? You're aware of it. But if you're not there, you don't know. Why? Because you're not there, you're not, you're not experiencing it. Okay, so I think that's a simple way to understand it. If I, if, I mean, does that make sense, right? I mean, it makes sense. Now, I have another statement that I actually heard was kind of funny, and I'll go to my wife on this. It says, if I make a statement and my wife isn't around to hear me, am I still wrong? <laughs> <laughs> and that answer is yes. <laughs> but according to you know, Webster's Dictionary, awareness is knowing something, a situation, a condition, a problem exists. So until you're aware of something actually existing, you don't know about it. You can't act on it. And if you recall from the speech last week, about competence, unconscious competence, you aren't here for this room, but if you remember the unconscious competence aspect, okay, that's not knowing you don't know. And that's where awareness comes in. Once you're aware of something, you can move forward on it. That goes with all aspects of life, not just, you know, speaking, not just, it, it goes with communication, it goes with interacting with people, it goes with, you know, your kids, your family, your relatives. So awareness is basically you understanding that something exists, and now you can move forward on it. If you don't know, that, you know, this meeting existed, you won't be here. Why? Because you don't know about it. Now that you're aware of it, you know what it takes, now you'll be here on a consistent basis. So, we don't want to be a figurehead leader. Someone that just is in the position because they're in there, without that knowledge behind it. So we need to be aware. So, this is pretty much the beginning of this six week period. Over the next five weeks, we're going to get into what the pyramid consists of. Now that we're going to start building it. All right. So, my intention was to get you to start thinking a little bit differently today. Just get you a little bit, little bit change, a little bit, just, just shift your mind a little bit. So now that we've laid the base for the pyramid with the awareness, next week what we're going to get into, the first side of the pyramid, is focus. And I'm sure that you guys are going to love it, and I'm sure the more you understand, the more you're going to grasp it, the better it's going to be. So, I look forward to bringing you the rest of the pyramid. Thank you very much, Anthony.